This is Adam Kokesh in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Tax Day Tea Party. I'm here with Bobby Long, one of the co-organizers of this event. Sir, you want to tell us about why you're here and, and why it's important to be involved in the Tea Party? Because our country is at a precipice between an old war that's been going on since 1776, and that is between the Jefferson School of Thought and the Hamilton School of Thought. And you're with the Jefferson School? Yeah, absolutely. What does that mean to you? It means that it's inalienable rights. It is the rights of that were given to each man by God that no man has the business messing with. That the Constitution was allegedly set up to specifically protect specific ways through a Republican form of government, right? It was a compromise. It was a compromise between Hamilton and, ah. and Jefferson. But the Constitution will stand according to your t-shirt, so you're a supporter of at least the principles behind it, getting back to that, or at least going to those well, guiding I principles? Am, I, have, I would absolutely defend the Constitution, in, in every, exactly the way it's written, but not the way it's been bastardized. Outstanding. So One example right now is the Supreme Court has no right to judge the constitutionality of Obamacare. If you read Article 3, nowhere does it mention that the federal government can sue a state. So that's, that, those are the kind of things I'm really against. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. Me. Well, and it bothers me because nobody else knows. I mean, it's written if you read Thomas Jefferson's writings, if you read Madison Hamilton, the whole thing. is They're plain and simple. All right, so you must have been pretty excited to have Newt Gingrich show up to the event today. You got your picture taken with him. Are you a Newt Gingrich supporter? Yes, I am. Because uh, I'm not going to say the lesser of two evils or three evils. But he is the most conservative that there is right now running. What's your definition of conservative? Follow the Constitution. It's not being a Republican. Well, it's certainly not being a Republican, but if it's following the Constitution, there's, uh, there's one other candidate in the race. Um, well, yeah, 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 he yeah. knows something about the Constitution. He does, and I, and I agree with a whole lot of what he says. But you say that the Constitution will stand, and you have a candidate in the race who for decades has voted according to the Constitution and his entire platform as president is, is backed up by the Constitution and yet you're supporting the I guess quasi-conservative Newt no, Gingrich no, 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 who's... No, 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 no. It's because Ron Paul is a very much a true libertarian and I do not believe in open borders. That's my problem with Ron Paul. Ron Paul believes in securing the borders. Uh, not what I've heard about reallocating security resources from securing the borders of Iraq and Afghanistan to securing our borders here at home. I completely agree with that. But if that's the one thing and your primary issue motivating you in this election is the Constitution, Jeffersonian principles, and being faithful to that document, why would you go with the guy who supports the Federal Reserve, who supports unconstitutional wars, who supports taxing the American people to pay for a trip to the moon? You know, I mean, the, these things that Newt Gingrich stands for are so, so beyond the realm of what is authorized in the Constitution. It seems like a great contradi contradiction, does it not? Well, I say they're both pretty close. Newt Gingrich and Ron Paul are pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. They are. That's a tough sell, because Newt Gingrich, no, 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 because Newt Gingrich actually said specifically, if Ron Paul was a nominee, he wouldn't even vote for him against Barack Obama. Well, that's just dumb. That's the guy you're supporting. But if we all went around and nitpicked, that's one of the problems with... with that's a pretty big thing, and the Constitution's oh, a pretty big right. thing. That's not nitpicking, man. No. It's not. I, and another reason is I unfortunately don't believe that Ron Paul's got a chance to beat Obama. And it's not because... Is that based on the polls where he's actually scoring the highest against Obama in national Whoa. polls and, than any of the other Republican candidates? Polls. I don't believe in polls. Polls are like statistics. Okay, and so wait, wait. It must, be, it, must be that it must be because he's getting thousands and thousands and thousands of people at rally after rally and Newt Gingrich gets you know, a few hundred. No, that's because they hit us away. We were supposed to be at the Capitol building. But we are lost our permit that we already had because they don't want us visible on the main street. That's why we're here where you can't, you can drive around this block and okay, you can't. Okay, so why is it Ron Paul can't win? Because I just don't think, I don't think the American populace is well educated enough to know to vote for him. So if we were better educated, he would win? Yes. Well, I, I wish you the best of luck with your continued education and your work with the Tea Party. Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a good day. All right.